Monitoring water quality is equivalent to what doctors do for patients. They use the information that they get from their monitors to determine what is wrong and to be sure that whatever they are doing is making the patient better, not worse. Scientists at the Ocean Research and Conservation Association understand the need to monitor our waters and have developed a high-tech system called Kilroy that wirelessly delivers real-time water quality information directly to a public database on ORCA's website. ORCA's Kilroy network is designed to change the way we track sources of pollution. We want to know where the pollution is coming from and going to. The basic Kilroy sensor suite measures flow speed and direction, water temperature, water level, and reports GPS. We can also add an ORCA-designed turbidity sensor to measure how cloudy the water is and a bathyphotometer to measure bioluminescence. Additionally, third-party sensors can be added to measure other key variables such as salinity, pH, dissolved oxygen, nitrate, and phosphate. Kilroy's can be installed into any fresh or saltwater environment to stream real-time data to ORCA's user-friendly database. This instructional video will show you how to use the Kilroy database to access and analyze data and draw conclusions on the health of our precious aquatic ecosystems. Navigating the database is simple. Begin by opening your web browser and visiting www.teamorca.org. Clicking on Live Kilroy Data will take you directly to the public map display. This page provides a map of currently active deployed Kilroys. Directly above the map, you will find general information on Kilroy. Zoom in and out on the map using your mouse or the toolbar over on the left. Use the legend to identify the differences between a Kilroy, a weather station, or a combination of the two. The left side of the page displays the most recent measurements from a particular Kilroy. Select a Kilroy of interest by clicking on it or navigate between Kilroy locations by using the left and right arrows at the top of the page. Scrolling over the information icon will provide more information on individual parameters. You can also enable a water flow animation from the past 24 hours where arrows indicate flow direction. If you want to plot historical data, you have three choices to make. Site selection, axis selection, and date selection. Begin by deciding on a location to investigate. You may choose one or any number of locations to add to the graph. Next, choose what parameters to include on the graph. One parameter per axis. Let's keep this simple and plot just one. Choose depth for the left axis. To ensure all data is displayed on the graph, remember to auto-scale each axis used. The last decision is date selection. The defined dates are preset to the previous three days, or you have the option to modify the dates. Keep in mind that this database allows access to all recorded historical data from the moment of deployment. For our example, we will use January 12 through 15, 2014. Finally, select Create Plot. The plot is generated below. Notice that the date and time are along the x-axis while depth is located along the y-axis. Directly above the plot is a key that identifies the meaning of each colored line on the graph. You may zoom in and out of areas on the graph. This completes our tutorial for navigating the Kilroy database. Add complexity to your plot by adding a parameter to the right axis or by investigating multiple locations. The problems facing most waterways are complex and vary greatly from region to region. However, using the Kilroy network to monitor water quality provides important information on the assaults facing waterways so they can be eliminated and nature can be restored.